Composite materials are produced by mixing together two or more different materials. The main advantage of doing this is that the properties from each of the materials can be enhanced and utilised. For example, plastics have a useful strength and rigidity with lightweight and good electrical insulation properties. These characteristics can be enhanced by adding other materials. For example, glass strands can be added to polyester resins to form a very tough, rigid and lightweight material known as glass reinforced plastic or GRP. Another material similar to this is carbon fibre that are manufactured in similar ways to GRP. A polymer strand is extracted and then mixed with a resin which is then heated into a mould to produce a composite which is much stronger than GRP. Its strength makes it more suitable for producing protective components for a modern Formula 1 racing car or for high performance sports or aerospace products. Kevlar is another special composite that has good protective properties due to the materials used and the way it is processed. Types of composite materials. There are three main groups of composite materials. Fibre reinforced composites, particle reinforced composites or sheet based composites. The most important of these are fibre reinforced composites since these are the most commonly used in the manufacture of products. The diagram on page 21 of the textbook gives examples of materials found in the three composite groups. The term man-made boards refers to those sheet or moulded materials where wood or wood fibre are bonded together to form a new material. The advantages of man-made boards are they have increased stability against warping which is the twisting or changing of the shape and they have equal strength in all directions unlike natural timbers. Common fibre reinforced composites. There are general, here are the general characteristics of fibre reinforced composites. They include good strength to weight ratio, resistance to corrosion, good fatigue resistance. They possess a, long, a low thermal expansion, otherwise they won't warp or change under heat. Glass fibre for example is used um, in the production of canoes. Glass is used in glass reinforced plastic which is then spun to produce a fibre which is then coated to aid bonding to the resin. The fibres of glass are usually very very small and vary in different thicknesses from very very fine to a micro micro millimetre to a tenth of a millimetre. Carbon fibre matting, this is a well known material and has come to the uh, forefront of Formula 1 racing, tennis rackets and fishing rods etc in recent years. The carbon fibres used in this material are, produce, are produced by heating filaments through a range of temperatures up to 2000 degrees. This process effectively removes all other elements leaving only long chains of carbon atoms ensuring a high strength lightweight material. Initially carbon fibre based products were expensive to produce due to the processes required to produce the fibres. However, it's got lower and lower and lower as technology has improved. Kevlar is another example of a, a composite material. It's a mixture of aromatic and aramid nylon-like molecules. These are melted and spun into fibres. The long chain molecules are held together by strong hydrogen bonds and you, it has great weight. Um, it's five times stronger than steel but half the density of fiberglass. Um, quite often Kevlar is used in military clothing under bomb proof vests. Um, it's incredibly incredibly strong. Uh, you can also use it in the sows for windsurfing. It's also used in run flat tyres so tyres can keep going under a very low pressure and won't damage the wheel rim. Um, it's also used in gloves that are in glass and sheet metal industries so you won't cut your hand. The general pro properties of Kevlar is the high strength to weight ratio, low electrical conductivity, high chemical resistance, high toughness, high cut resistance and flame resistant and self extinguishing. Um, another composite is reinforced concrete. Concrete is classed as a particle based composite. Um, concrete is very very useful but under um, a strain or on a large piece of concrete it will crack under a loading so what we have to do is we have to create a structure inside it usually using steel rods to, cr to reinforce it to create a new material which is stronger um, and will it withstand a load or a weight bearing upon it um, you will see this lots in building industries where they're creating 
uh, footings and trenches where they're going to put concrete into a trench uh, it's known as a foundation and we reinforce it with these metal rods to prevent the cracking cements are another group of particle based composites there are many mixtures of both metal and ceramic particles an example of a common cement is tungsten carbide a combination of ceramic tungsten carbide and metal cobalt this material is used extensively for cutting tools as it keeps a very very uh, good edge um, so when you see diamond drilling um, they're actually coating it in a special cement which allows the drill to drill through a hole really well because it's got this material on the blade on the drill piece um, the advantages and disadvantages of cements they have high resistance to temperature they are tough and shock resistant the disadvantage is the, the very nature of the component materials of cement such as tungsten carbide is that it's brittle and a high melting point um, exclude the process in, in the same way as materials which mount at lower temperatures lastly sheet based composites um, this is where um, you laminate two materials together uh, such as plywood blockboard um, and other materials where we want actually layers and the layers produce something that's more rigid um, more stronger distributes the weight better um, more recent developments have seen the introduction of metal and polymer composites um, an example of this is ALU composite this material is a laminate of usually 0.3 millimeter thickness aluminium sheet sandwiched between a polythene core an example of this is on page 27 of your textbooks. Uh, really good composite case.